Well, storms are starting to close in on us on in on us on this Easter Sunday. After a quiet morning, we've got severe thunderstorm warnings impacting several of our counties in South Georgia and the Big Bend. This does include western Leon County as this line advances eastward, packing a lot of lightning, gusty winds, maybe even small hail that could potentially reach the ground. I'd say the primary thing to be worried about are those gusty winds that could be up to 40 miles per hour, maybe even higher in isolated situations. Of course, the frequent lightning is something else to consider, so definitely pack Pack it in and head inside if you're outdoors enjoying uh, the Easter festivities. We've also got some severe storms throughout parts of South Georgia, west of Thomasville in Grady County. That's where a severe thunderstorm warning is also in effect until 715. The one that encompasses the rest here is until 730. So we're on for quite some time. If you live in the Tallahassee area, this mess is headed your way. So certainly head inside north of Thomasville and Thomas County also getting in on that flashes of lightning, the frequent lightning, the heavy rain advancing east and starting to head towards parts of Leon and Wakulla. This will eventually get to Jefferson County, already starting to see some showers in Monticello. Farther east, storms starting to advance in Clinch and Eccles County, also parts of Hamilton. So we're closing that gap, getting in with those stronger storms that will be with us the rest of this evening. So the day is no longer quiet for us. Quincy getting in on a lot of action right now. We do have that severe risk in play. It is a marginal risk and a one out of five risk. So the lowest for areas north, so that is living up to its uh, potential today. We've got some more storms on the way again through this evening overnight, and that marginal risk does carry over into Monday, but Monday will not be a washout. Let's talk about the next several hours. Yes, storms will continue to advance eastward through South Georgia and our state line counties in the Big Bend. But then overnight, a couple more storms, and then early tomorrow morning, we get a renewed shot at some more scattered showers and storms. Maybe a severe potential, very isolated in nature. That's a cold front that's going to swing through and finally clear things up by the second half of your Monday. But we could see a couple stronger storms happening heading into Monday afternoon for some of our communities. By tomorrow night, we're going to be quiet and trend much nicer, cooler, less humid for Tuesday. It is going to be breezy behind that strong cold front, but much better weather is on the horizon. Once we get through tonight, rainfall amounts could be pretty significant in some areas that get storms that go over the same spot. So it really depends on how storms uh, trend throughout the next several hours and through tonight. Tomorrow, temperatures will be warm into the low 80s, upper 70s for some of us, but then headed into the next several days after early tomorrow and into the afternoon, high pressure, nothing but calm weather. So I'm looking forward to that. Can't wait to get through tonight and it's going to be not bad in terms of boating once we get through tonight as well. If you want to do some boating tomorrow afternoon, it will be breezy, but that's when things look better. Jada cooler on Tuesday, 76 degrees. I think Tuesday is the prime day. We're going to warm up beyond that. So if you like those cooler days, that's your day to get outside. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of everything, which yeah. is good, but we just have to get through these storms tonight. It's a shame it's Easter. Just bring it inside and stay safe. Yeah, well, hopefully it's not impacting any of the sports that we have going on. <laughs>